I'm living my best life now. It's closing in time. You fall and you break, you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. You fall and you break, you got changes to make now. I woke up almost two hours ago and the house has been quiet. No one's been making noise. I've been just sitting and studying for tomorrow because I'm teaching fifth graders at church. That's fun. That's new for me. I woke up, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not that hungry. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, dude, I'm starving. Bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs, everybody. How is anyone supposed to live like that? And if I make my wife extra bacon, I get extra bonus points too. Teaching kids about a passage in the Bible about the faith of the centurion. And I've been reading my Bible for 20 years. Yes, 20 years here in the dark with the backlit camera. And I was reading it in Luke and I realized from that account that the guy had never even seen Jesus. Like he sent some people to talk to him and convince him to come help him heal his servant who was dying and then and then before Jesus got there, he sent other people to tell him, never mind. You don't need to come all the way. You don't have to come all the way here because you can, you know, you can just heal him from where you're at because I understand how authority works, but it's like I never realized in that account the centurion didn't actually go there. And then I realized in Matthew, it says that he did see him and talk to him, but it's, but it's like now, but understanding how authority works, it's easy for me to understand like how the accounts like this was, he was talking to Jesus because these people were speaking on his behalf, like an, like a, like an ambassador. Bacon in the oven. They got some dried chicken in there. Dried chicken. What do you mean? I'll put this at 425. Four. I'll start at 15 minutes and then check it. So last night I took some chicken breast to put it in a pan with some garlic powder and some thyme. I lied, not thyme. Oh, well, there's thyme in it. Italian seasoning. And I cooked this chicken like crazy. Now it's dry. And so my goal is to blend this up or process this and see if I can turn it into carnivore crust for a pizza tomorrow for the kids. I was telling my daughter, my kids, I was telling my kids and my daughter, my five-year-old, she's like, dad, you're gonna ruin pizza. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. I'm gonna ruin pizza. <laughs> yes, I am, babe. Yes, I am. Oh, I think this will do the choppy chop. Like a ninja. Yeah, I hear kids now, so I should have did this earlier. My crunchy wife and all her sourdough bread starter over here. We compromised and it's like, well, if we're gonna feed our kids bread, Let's make our own. Seems like a good compromise. Then you gotta think, well, why don't I get bread like that? Actually, I bet I could have, don't wave at my camera, dude. Okay. Jeez, you're gonna, you're gonna break it. I'm gonna blend up this dry chicken, the ruined pizza. It's not gonna ruin it, it's gonna be different. Yeah, just like I'm different. Built different. I forgot what I was saying now. Okay, well, this is great television. I'm gonna have to, I have to, I have to watch back what I was saying. Now I remember, bread's stupid. Not exactly what was happening. I just don't need bread. I've been watching this channel on YouTube called The Outdoor Boys. And this guy is like going out and building forts in the snow and different survival situations. And uh, one, he gets lots of views, but he's out there like eating all these survival foods and you know, pouring hot water in these packets and different things. He's just eating constantly. And part of me is like, if I was in a survival situation like that, it'd be hard not to wanna eat whatever to survive. Is it cause it just makes sense. Let's see what this does. I'll bring it closer, but not too close. I don't know you that well. Pulse. Pulse, pulse. Now oh, that's shredding up nicely. I can't even taste it because I can't eat chicken. I didn't weigh anything. I don't know how much chicken this is. I just grabbed a whole pack and I'm going for it because that's how I mess up recipes every time. I don't even pay attention. I just cook. Go with the flow. Happy little accidents. Literally. Wonder if that's good. Oh, well there's giant chunks of 
chicken up there, so no. I know a lot of people who have done these type of recipes. Might have overdid it. Get down there and get chopped, buddy. There's like no liquid in it, which is good, because it makes so soggy crust. Looking like pretty good flour. That's good. Oh, camera. All right, I think I'm just gonna take this and get it out of there, double check if there's huge chunks in that, and then I'll just leave that for now. So I've looked at different recipes that added like the Peco, uh, pork rinds, and egg, and cheese. I think the pork rinds might be not necessary. Maybe just another different texture. Problem is my wife really likes those. <laughs> Grinding up some of those. Let me put this whole thing in a bowl. Make sure I thoroughly jack up the, the kitchen before my wife gets it down here. I'm scared of these blades because they're so sharp. I cut my finger on it when I first got it, like a schlub. It's funny because a lot of the time I've been on this carnivore diet, I have not done stuff like this at all because I've been kind of of the mindset like, what's the point? You're just working hard, just eat a steak, idiot. And uh, you know, I've had some uh, passing thoughts that weren't you know, the, the nicest about people that are working too hard with their food. And now I find myself doing it. This is weird, this little, ch this chicken stuff is like, it kind of feels like flour. And if you grab and make a ball already, interesting. Grind up these last couple chunks. But yeah, I'm not really like hating on people, but it's, I, I, I kind of, I think I got that attitude because I see a lot of people like going on carnivore diets and keto diets and they're just not willing to bury that part of them. They're not willing to bury how things always have gone, the, the types of foods that they've ate, some of their traditions and stuff like that. Why, why does that bother me? I guess it doesn't really bother me, but I was just thinking, you know, from my standpoint, I found the value in putting that to rest, putting that to bed and just saying, listen, this is how I have to eat. And then like getting some of that back but i've been there before and it reminds me of a song from michael ketterer that says you have to let go sometimes you need to let go sometimes you need to let go to hold on and i remember one of my daughters saying dad is that true i said yes you can't hold on to something new if you're holding on to something else so remember that yeah i got this flour i'm gonna probably go over some dried chicken smells good my wife is gonna be so impressed She's gonna be so impressed. Not just because of this chicken, because I'm in PJs. And I'm wearing this shirt right here. This is one of my original shirts from back in the day. Feels like a, it's a tent. All right, well, let's clean up this stuff. Cook this bacon, get some eggs. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll plan out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this, this crust so I can ruin pizza for my kids. I'm also gonna be like spending way more money. Little Caesars pizza, $6. This pizza, uh, chicken, chicken, chicken breast, almost already 20. But I don't know how many pizza crusts I can make out of that. Ooh, 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 all for the memes. Go back to bed. My wife is very impressed with me. Super impressed with me when it comes to that stuff. I would have her tell you herself, but she might say something different. I just don't hear you. Snap. Why am I impressed with you? I mean, obviously. Why not? Why aren't you impressed with me? That's the real question. Obviously, I'm impressed with you. Why am I impressed with you? Why are you invading my space? Because I love you. I'm, the animals will be like, "You're so mean to you your wife." You are mean. You're so mean to my little jerk. I'm trying to be funny, okay? Hold on. <laughs> Told you I was tall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go get your kid's diabetes. We're out of milk. That was bad. Oh, too much bacon fat. Said no one. One, two, three, four, six. I made eight pieces of bacon. I'm gonna eat five. Five pieces of bacon, five eggs. Today is also community group night, so we're having people over to her house. What am I gonna eat? Pretty sure I got a bunch of steaks out there. Let's throw them in the sous vide machine. Call it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Day 34. Day 34. Well, the sun's almost out. I mean, the sun is out, but it's almost, you could almost, it's almost like you feel heat from it. That's nice. Did I ever tell you that Walmart sucks? I know Kmart sucks, but they all shut down. But Walmart, what a pain in the butt. I went to go get a new vacuum cleaner. 
because uh, we have a lot of people and a lot of vacuuming and I'm just like trying to find an associate. Can you associate with me? And then they like call people and then no one comes and they call somebody else and I finally got someone to come. I was like, really? And then you gotta wait in line forever to check yourself out. I'm, I'm getting old. Maybe, maybe Gen Xers are the new boomers. And I just couldn't help myself and I bought some hamburgers, frozen hamburgers. I'm like, yep, I'm just gonna do that. It's gonna be easy. Hold on, back inside. The dog just had a bath. If she comes out here, it gets all muddy. I'd be in trouble. All right, what does this say? These eight pounds of burgers. I'm just gonna get my scale and see how much they weigh. Here's my problem. I always got stupid empathy. <laughs> should probably stop talking like that. But giving Walmart a hard time, four ounces each. But then we live kind of like in a food desert area town and they built this new uh, store over here, which is like a community store. So people in food, this food desert area can have access to the food. It's like, oh, that's cool. This cool community market where one gallon of milk is $5. It's at a Walmart where it's two for five. How does that help a community? It doesn't make any sense to me. So how many of these should I eat for lunch? A pound worth? Sounds good. I bought these because I'm a meat hoarder and I have plenty of meat, but my wife also likes hamburger patties. So I know if I have these on hand, she'll just eat them. And it makes it easy. Cause I, I was at Walmart and I'm walking around and I just start feeling like, man, I'm tired. I'm tired of eating just beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Every single day for 60 freaking days. Can't eat. I was like walking down the aisles like there's some chicken feet. Oh, man, I can't even eat chicken feet? What's what's wrong? And, is, and, and what's happening is I was hungry. And when I'm hungry, that's how I think. I always am saying, you got to be careful when you're hungry. Make sure you have access to food. I wonder what would happen if I put one of these in a dehydrator. Would it turn into jerky? All right, I don't want to make a long video today, but I'm just gonna do four patties, which is one pound. The world's okayest lunch. That watch weighs two ounces. Well, fancy being out here. This is the set. Someone trying to hoard meat in their freezer. Steaks and some old New York strip. I say old, I mean, I bought them sometime. Pretty sure this is a whole one I cut myself. There they are. Throw them in the sous vide machine, then have food or potential food for dinner, which I'm gonna eat late tonight, pretty sure. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to film anything if I have people over. Okay, well that's stuck. I'll see you at lunch. I mean dinner. Confused. Need more meat. Thought I'd better hop back on here and uh, show you me seasoning this so you didn't think I was a sadist. Man, I just thought about nice creamy cheese. I miss cheese, but I don't miss the inflammation. One intonation, that's a bunch of inflammation. Oh, the vacuum cleaners on it working. Awesome. You guys vacuum and I'll just take a nap. Happy Saturday. Hippity hippity hoppity. A little bit more hungry than I thought I'd be. It's late. Everyone just left from community group. I got my sous vide steak i had two of them in there one busted open i think it's all right but i washed it off and put it in the freezer how much does this weigh 12 ounces in the bag so not that much let me see here i'm like so hungry again 10 and a half ounces all right i'm gonna cook this and then i'm gonna think we need some eggs with it beef tallow i'll tell you one thing that was awesome for sure check this out our friends from a community group know a guy that owns a farm and they brought us a bunch of these farm fresh eggs. <laughs> yes, thank you. And I believe they sell cows also. I will be working on that. Who do I need to suck up to? Do they like jokes? Do I need to come over and help them butcher it? Do I have to shoot it? What do I have to do to get me a cow that serious? So I guess that's another hack. Make sure you're uh, like not negotiating when you're hungry. Am I getting in trouble? I should have cooked on the flat top, but it's a little chilly out there today. Yeah, this is searing up nasty. Check on these eggs. Well, dude, that's a giant egg. Oh my goodness. That thing's huge. Oh yeah. No eggshell, please. I know it's still on my diet, but I don't want the eggshell. There's a lot. This, this is like a New York strip that I cut myself and it has like 
this much fat on the end of it, which yeah, I'll put in the pan sideways and render it while I'm cooking the eggs in there. Four eggs. I'm gonna actually do a half stick of butter. Four tablespoons. Hey, cooking with Aaron. Check out his backside. I haven't had curry gold for a long time. I'm like, it's good. Come on. His eggs look pretty good. All right. I feel like I'm panic cooking. <laughs> Don't forget to salt it. Oh yeah, those look like good eggs. Nice cooked steak. I better clean this stuff up. I feel like this camera's like way up in the sky. I made an initial pizza crust out of that chicken, some cheese, and an egg. One cup, one cup of chicken, one egg, and just a little bit of like cheddar mix that we had. I, I haven't tasted it. I'm like, that's a lot of work. Hopefully my kids like it. Just do a little bit of experiment for them tomorrow and ruin pizza. All right guys, made it through another day of beef, butter, bacon, eggs. Decided to be alive, decided to be eating food, and that's good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you, bye.